Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 13 of Regrowth. So if you re remember from the previous episode, we were playing around with the other uh, Batania stuff, and uh, that was in order to get the next tier of seeds, um, such as the other uh, gold seeds, things like that. And in between episodes, I went ahead and um, created all of those, and I have eight quests with unclaimed rewards, and you can see that I have done the earth seeds, obsidian seeds, experience seeds, blaze seeds, aluminum or aluminium seeds uh, fire and water um i haven't done air yet and that is something that i would like to do as well and i uh, also did the other uh, nether seeds so let's go ahead and claim some of these rewards and on these i'll just uh, claim the uh, the essence because um, I think that's more important since I already have the ability to uh, produce all of these other essence. So let me go ahead and claim these. And uh, you can see over here that I went ahead and ran them through my lab. And because of this anchor, the world anchor, which I should probably keep refilling, um, I was able to uh, get all of them up to 10, 10, 10. Um, these are still growing. I um, had the other uh, single 10, 10, 10, and right now I'm just um, distributing those across. But I have the, uh, the blaze right there, obsidian, water, um, earth, and all of these are 10, 10, 10. I d haven't um, analyzed all of them but you can see that I have a, a 10 10 10 earth seed right there so that is really really cool um, because that is going to help us considerably because one of the nice things about the um, elemental um, essence if I were to grab the earth um, if I were to place that in a 2x2 two two in the grid I can grab dirt that's nice and if I had the fire seeds which I don't have any ah those are still um, I'm still trying to get those up to 10 10 10 so these are still in the lab I haven't moved them out yet so let me go ahead and grab some of those I am really close I think this uh, bottom one was uh, 10 10 9 so these are probably 10 10 10 right here but I just want to make sure that I have at least all of those and you can see that I can uh, produce sand so no more um, sitting at the uh, the pool over here and hitting the uh, super crafting frame to get sand from um, dried crack sand or crack sand um, I could just uh, use the essence and that could create it for me uh, the other nice thing I don't have to mine limestone anymore this is out so cool. Um, I was so tired of going into the cave to mine limestone, and with this, I have the ability to produce limestone just with these essence. That is so cool. So um, you can see that I've been uh, collecting them. Basically, this is my little lab chest. I'll probably be moving all of this stuff upstairs at some point, um, but let me go ahead and go upstairs real quick and clean out my inventory since I just clogged it up with a bunch of crap. There we go. Let's put the essence over here. There we go. And you can go there. All right. So um, today I have a little problem. And uh, that problem being is I cannot produce any more air runes. And I do not know what I just typed there. Um, air runes. Rune of air. Because of feathers. Uh, Alright, so... With the, uh, the feathers... I don't have any chicken. And I ran out of feathers. So some of these other quest lines... I need air shards. Or, ugh, I keep saying shards. Rune of air in order to... Um, progress. And I don't know what to do without feathers. So today, I am going to actually look, and let me first claim these real quick. Nice. Oh, and experience seeds. I didn't mention this, but experience seeds are nice. I don't have any up here, but um, if I were to type in experience, if I look at the usages of this, you can create these little experience drops, and it gives you 
40 experience that is going to be very cool because then I don't have to worry about experience anymore the little tinkers construct for the uh, essence berries I probably don't really need these anymore I mean I can eat these and uh, it gives me experience but at least the uh, experience drops will uh, do essentially the same thing so that is pretty cool so let me go ahead and see if I can find this nope um, enables nope <laughs> I can never get these right where are those did I completely miss that on this page no I need to have like some sort of cheat sheet so that I know which one to go into the life of the world yeah here it is all right Woo! Couldn't find it. All right, so this one, um, you've probably seen this before, but we need to create 16 eggs. And I don't know why I typed in eggs. So this is going to require a rune of mana, rune of earth, mandrake, some seeds, and some pasture seeds. So that will produce how many eggs? 16, exactly what we need. So I'm hoping, hoping that this will work out well. Um... Do I not have any pasture seeds? Uh, I got one right there. I need normal seeds. Mandrake. Might have mandrake over here. If not, I already have it down in my farm area, so I'll be able to grab it there. I guess I don't have any up here. Um, regular seeds and a rune of mana. So let me go ahead and grab some iron for that. There we go. So let's go ahead and make our way down here because this is pretty essential for some of the uh, the remaining steps and if I look at my quest book you can also see that this opens up all of the other eggs and if you remember to be able to create the uh, rune of um, winter um, I needed cake so I'll need to be able to get the cow so let me go ahead and take that back off because I think I need a rune of mana first so let me go ahead and create five of these Oops, one, two, three, four, five, and an ender pearl. And let me go ahead and bind this guy. And while that is going, I will come over here and grab the rest of my junk. Um, what was I needing? Mandrake. I think that's right here. No, that's Belladonna. Mandrake seeds. Um, that was just mandrake root. I actually need the seeds. So let me go ahead and grab the seeds from that. There we go. Let that populate back. And let's come over here. And this is already done. Cool. And there's my wand. Oops. Picked it up. Didn't mean to do that. All right, cool. So let's see. Again, I need earth which I have one of those I'm just gonna stand up here it's easier and mandrake seed and a regular seed did I get the other two yeah regular seed that would be from wheat so let's go ahead and grab one of these wheat and make sure that it distributes back so that I can replenish my wheat seed there we go you and you nice so this is going to produce the 16 that we're going to need in order to uh, complete that quest which is pretty cool we don't have to uh, do this multiple times because those mana runes are pretty expensive um, because you only get one out of it all right so that completed that quest nice so I get both experience drops and eggs. So I am going to run this stuff upstairs real quick. I need to figure out where to put the animals because I don't really want them around my farm. I should probably, um, let me grab a drawer real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Drawers, yeah, this will probably be sufficient. Let me put a drawer here and I can start storing these eggs. I will put those there for now, but I do need to uh, figure out where to essentially put the farm animals. 
Um, I could, ah, I did not mean to do that. Um, I could rope off this section right here, basically put a fence around it, but I don't know if that's going to annoy me hearing animal sounds. Um, might have to think about that for a little bit and uh, come back later to do that part. Uh, because essentially I'm just going to take those 32 eggs and start throwing them at the ground and see if I can produce a chicken. But uh, while I'm here, let's go ahead and check on the uh, mariculture oysters. And because of the fact that I was able to create so much sand using the, uh, the recipe, um, which is the fire and the earth essence, I filled these hoppers completely full of sand. It hasn't been running that long. Um, but I have been able to produce all of these pearls, which is kind of cool. So I don't really need to have like six or eight of these uh, pearl oysters. Just having the, uh, the hoppers is probably sufficient enough because now I can uh, just set it and forget it. I don't have to uh, worry about it. So we will use these at some point. Um, but I should probably just put the sand somewhere. Here we go, clean up this inventory space, but that'll be pretty nice. So um, let me go ahead and cut here real quick. Um, let me figure out a good place to put some farm animals and uh, we will be right back. All right, I am back and you notice that I'm upstairs in my uh, Tinker's Construct area. I went ahead and created two new tools, the, uh, the nether rack lumber ax and the netherrack hammer. I thought these would be um, pretty important because with the uh, hammer, um, you can see that it uses uh, two large plates, a um, hammer head, and a uh, tough tool rod. And the lumber axe has the uh, broad axe head, plate, binding, and tool rod for that. And uh, these are actually going to come in very handy. I just made them out of netherrack. Of course, we can uh, replace the other uh, parts later. But the, uh, the nice thing about it, if I were to come over here, I have decided that I'll probably use maybe uh, this little offshoot from my building uh, for the, uh, the farm animals. That way, I could probably have a gate along this wall. Still need to replace this uh, uh, crack sand with a fence at some point, but I should be able to at least take this wall back. And if you see, I can uh, just hit this and it clears out a three by three, which is going to be a lot easier for me than um, trying to use a pickaxe and go through the uh, durability. And I made it out of um, netherrack because it's, like I said before, it's readily available, it's cheap, and I don't have to uh, worry too much about um, repairing the tool over time. Um, and I think this also gives us a, a stone bound. Yeah, so basically with the uh, stone bound, um, whenever it's using durability, um, whenever it's farther down on the durability, it'll actually increase the speed of your mining, which is kind of cool. So I am going to be clearing off a large section over here. I'll probably uh, replace all of this with grass as well, because if you have like sheep or cows and stuff, I'm assuming that they would prefer grass over crack sand. And uh, the other thing, um, let's go ahead and take a look at this lumber axe. I am going to come over here. Oh yeah, I moved my uh, silo. Um, it still doesn't produce much water. <laughs> I even uh, increased it um, in here to uh, put a fourth tank up there. It, I only have the two sprinklers down there and it still does not produce enough water and it's really obnoxious. So uh, with the, uh, the lumber ax, if I were to come down here and hit that, it clears out all of the wood in a single chop. Nice. So now it's going to be so much easier to farm up um, all of the trees over here in my farm. And I just have to uh, wait for the other uh, saplings now. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be so much nicer because um, getting wood before was a big pain. Now it doesn't seem so, so difficult. So what I'm going to do, um, I am going to go ahead and clear off the land over here. Um, go ahead and place some dirt. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to do over here. I might just leave this for now. 
because I really need to get these animals going because I need to start getting feathers in order to uh, create cake and stuff like that. But I could look at uh, some of these other spawn eggs because like cow, cow egg, no, spawn cow. What does that consist of? Experience drops, egg, leather. Where am I gonna get leather? Um, oh, rotten flesh. I need to create an alchemy catalyst. That'll be later, but uh, we can use rotten flesh. So that is probably something that we'll end up doing in the, uh, the very near future. But let me go ahead and clear this out and I'll be back. All right, I am back, and you can see that I have cleared out quite a bit of this area, and I've replaced a lot of the other uh, crack sand with dirt because, I mean, this is called regrowth, right? So the whole point of this map is to regrow the world. So <laughs> this is my uh, first attempt. Um, I think this is looking really good. I like it. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this fence. I kind of uh, put this on the uh, chunk boundary. I know that I went a little bit past, but only because I kind of wanted a uh, to be nine deep. So there is a little bit outside of this chunk boundary, so that uh, chunk or that uh, world anchor over there will not load right here so if any animals were to cross this border maybe they would unload um, assuming that I'm not on the other uh, server at the time but this is uh, distributing the grass around and I think it's looking pretty good so I think I'm about ready to uh, go ahead and um, put some chicks chickens in here I can't even talk um, but I don't want to just put them down in this pin kind of want to automate it a little bit um, basically using a hopper and a chest uh, probably not the most humane way of holding on to a chicken but uh, what can you do so let me go ahead and get some of this stuff probably replace these with some dirt make it look a little bit better I'll probably put my chest right there. So let me... <sighs> Carpenter's blocks. I always forget that and I end up clicking a piece of dirt or something on them. Alright, so let me... My inventory is completely full. So first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of some of the fire essence. And that's probably about as much as I can get rid of right now. Alright, um... So hopper, do I not have a hopper on me? I did at one point, but I think I used all of the hopper. So let me go ahead and come up here. Eh, this will give me the opportunity to get rid of some of this extra stuff that I don't need. Get rid of some of my mob drops. Eh, that's probably good enough for now. So let's go ahead and create a hopper. And that is just going to require a chest. I probably actually need two chests. Well, let me see. Might use one of these chests. Um, one of these guys. Here's a Mark II. Did not need all of them. Place that down. You can see that it's essentially a double wide chest, and I can increase this later. And this is not going to mine. Um, can't remember. Do dollies work on these? They do not. Yeah, that kind of sucks that they don't work on those. But I do need an axe. I'm just going to use my hatchet. Otherwise, too much stuff would happen. Alright, so do I have iron? I do. Let's go ahead and create a hopper. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab the stack of eggs. Probably both stacks for now. And see where that takes us. Um... What about some glass? Glass might be nice. Doesn't look like I have any besides these. Um, let's cook up some glass real quick. Since I have plenty of sand, I might have... Oh yeah! I didn't show this. I created a, a nether furnace. Um, basically, nether furnace. Um, it's the uh, same recipe as a normal furnace, but uses netherrack, and I think it's a little bit faster whenever it smelts. I, it's hard to tell.
because it's still slow, but uh, it might actually be a little bit faster and it might be a little bit more conservative on the fuel. Maybe the fuel lasts a little bit longer. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just aesthetic and it doesn't do anything. It's like a uh, placebo. It makes me think that it's doing something, but uh, that's probably enough glass for now. Let's go ahead and run outside real quick and we can place this chest down and I believe that you can use um, hoppers on top of these. Here we go. Hmm. I might have to go back one more. Let's go ahead and get these pieces of dirt. Oop, I didn't bring the dirt with me. That's fine. All right. Um, I just need to be able to access it. So let me go ahead and throw the glass in here, figure out which kind of glass that I want. This is just so that we can see the chicken whenever I have him in here. Uh, maybe bubble glass. Will that look good? Yeah, that looks fine. All right, so let's go ahead and grab maybe a couple more up this direction. I'll probably cap it off so that the uh, chicken can't get out. There we go. Does that connect? Oh, nice. That connects. Gotta love connected textures. Eh, I'll just leave that. Can I access that chest from here? I can. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some eggs in here. Let's hope for the best. Create a chicken, please. Come on. Just one chicken. That's all I'm asking for. One chicken. Can I throw it at the hopper? Oh no. Just one chicken. That's all I'm asking. Oh yay! Chicken! <laughs> that was close. Wow, I almost went through two stacks of eggs to get that chicken. So now we just have to have him grow up into a mature chicken. I'm sorry, little guy. I know that you're all isolated in there. But uh, over time, he will start dropping eggs. And the reason that I have him on a hopper is so that whenever he drops his eggs and uh, feathers, um, they'll actually get caught and automatically put into this chest. And that's exactly what I want because I don't want to have to come out into the, uh, the farm area to, uh, to basically collect them as they drop. So I will just put him in a little cage. I am sorry about that. I will set you free at some point, but I need eggs and feathers. So this is going to take a while. And uh, let's go ahead and look in our quest book real quick and see what we have to go off of. I could probably go ahead and do some of these little low hanging fruit tasks. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do the rest of chapter one real quick. So let me go ahead and run upstairs. And uh, chapter one, um, basically I have a garden trowel that I need. Garden trowel. That doesn't look too difficult to do, so I can go ahead and craft that up. Let me uh, run upstairs, grab, I think I have iron. I think I might have sticks in my yellow bag. I do. Just need the one. I'm not sure why I didn't do this uh, quest earlier on. Maybe it was because it had iron. I don't know. But uh, this one actually gives us the uh, compost that we need. Or wait. Garden trowel. What did I create? Gardening trowel. Okay. <laughs> apparently, apparently there's uh, two different things here. Um, garden trowel. Oh. Garden core. Okay, different mod. That's fine. Um, I need compost now. So compost and what? Compost, iron, and stick. Why would you make a shovel, a trowel, out of compost? That is um, not what I would have expected. Ah, don't have any sticks. There we go. Oop. All right, so this should do it. Yes, it did. All right, cool. So now I can uh, claim the reward, and I have rose bushes, lilac, P 
peony and sunflowers. I don't really care much for those. Don't really need anything to do with it. But now we can uh, create a large flower pot. Large flower pot. And I'm assuming clay. Yeah, hardened clay. Um, I wonder what my clay status is over here. Yeah, that chicken down there is going to bug me. He's going to be loud. Well, well, let's see. Good, I have enough. I only need seven. Let's go ahead and cook these guys up. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll just use the uh, charcoal. I know it's not efficient. If I wanted to make it efficient, I'll do eight. That's fine. I might use another clay block at some point. I'm going to go ahead and throw this back in there. Throw in some of that. My crop sticks. Probably put the gardening trowel and the garden trowel. <laughs> Both in my white bag with the rest of my tools. And I don't know what to do with these flowers. I'll probably just put them in here. Seems like a logical place for it. I don't really need to do anything with that unless I'm going to be uh, doing any kind of um, architectural things that use flowers I might never use it so let me go ahead and create this I only got a couple left two more probably should have split this up less efficient on fuel that way but it's better for YouTube I guess all right one more let me get rid of the crack sand do something while I'm just sitting here. Have a little bite to eat, and we should be done. Yay! All right, cool. So this uh, gives us three large flowering pots, and basically, and it gives us seven more. Okay, so now we have ten. Um, if I understand this right, let me go ahead and grab my garden trowel. Maybe uh, a couple of these flowers back. And I think if I... What are you doing here? Do I need compost or uh, garden soil? I'll try compost first. Oh! Oh, it did something. It disappeared, but I don't see anything. Um, let's see. Not Plant harbor capacity for enough soil to support a farm. These large pots are exactly what you're after. Place all sorts of soil or dirt in them and then plant flowers and crops on them quite hand. Oh. So is this your way of having smaller farms? All right. Let's see. Can I put that in there? I can. Ah, here we go. So here, can I... Well, let me just right click and put these in there, maybe. There we go. Yeah, it just puts them in a, a smaller place. I um, wonder if I can do anything with this. Like, if I were to want to have like an iron garden, I mean, that seems kind of odd, right? Can I put crop sticks in here? Nah, yeah, didn't think so. Can I even uh, till it? No. I just don't see the point other than having like a flower arrangement. So I'm just going to keep this. Um, probably put that over here with the flowers and that's probably got as good as a... Oh, yay! That was as good as I'm going to get on that one. But uh, we did complete chapter one in our book. So now it's just a matter of time to wait for that chicken before we can actually proceed and get feathers and stuff like that. So let me uh, go ahead and come down here real quick, check on this little guy. He's still a baby, so this is going to take a little bit of time. I will uh, go ahead and cut here and I'll be back and we'll figure out something else to do. You know what, um, since we are already in eggs today. Um, we have uh, created the other uh, chicken egg. I think we should go ahead and look at spawning a cow. 
and uh, this will be kind of nice because we need milk. All right, so if you recall, the way that I'm going to make leather, I have to use an alchemy catalyst right there. And that is going to require two brewing stands, mana pearl, two gold, and four living rock. So let me go ahead and grab my mana pearl. I already uh, made up the, uh, the brewing stands. And I have the gold. And I just need four of these guys. And that will create the alchemy catalyst. And the nice thing about this, I can just put it right underneath my pool. And you can see that the uh, texture change in the, uh, the pool. Let me go ahead and, oop, I did not mean to do that. Put that back. So if I take that alchemy catalyst out, you can see that the uh, bottom is rather smooth, but whenever I put it under, bam, you can actually see the uh, catalyst right under. So that uh, way you actually know that it's going to do something. And this is basically how we are able to convert one thing into another, um, a little bit more than just uh, the normal mana f infusion stuff, like the uh, mana pearls and things like that. So what I want to do is drop a couple of rotten flesh and you can see that it turns into leather. And that is exactly what we need in order to craft a spawn egg. So let me go ahead and put the leather on there. And it required three experience drops, um, two wheat, and an egg. And fortunately, we still have a couple of eggs. I need to name that guy. I need to figure out a good name for this chicken over here since this is our first pet, so to speak. Hopefully he's still alive. He's still alive? Yeah, you're still alive. We'll have to come up with a little name for him. But uh, we should be able to come over here, throw this weed on, bam bam, and the egg. And a little bit of this. And that should do it. I'm actually going to... I'm going to make another mana spreader while I'm just sitting here. Um, mana spreader. Because I am tired of having to swap that guy back and forth. So I am going to create one more mana spreader and place him right there. Yeah, this will make it a little bit faster. <laughs> but this guy, I'm just going to uh, make him continue draining into that. That way I can just throw blocks of coal in here and it will be feeding mana into the pool while this one's used for the infusion crafting. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, this is using quite a bit of mana to actually produce one of these cow eggs. And uh, fortunately, I think most of the uh, other eggs are fairly similar. So if I were to look up spawn, we have like the ocelot and stuff like that. If I wanted a horse, that one's not craftable. Ocelot. I would need some fish, but um, we are not to that point right now. Yay! We have a spawn cow. So we have another guest on our farm. Yay! Actually two, because one of the uh, requests, or the uh, rewards, was another spawn egg. So I should be able to come right over here. And let's go ahead and place these guys. Yay! I am happy to see you. Now we have milk. Yay! <laughs> so now I should be able to at least craft the uh, winter rune uh, because now I have the rune of winter that requires cake and cake requires milk. All right, so yay! I get to uh, complete that one. But I'm probably going to go ahead and call it for today. What are you jumping for? Um, so we were able to uh, create the eggs and start our little animal farm over here. I am excited to be able to get the uh, byproducts off of these guys, such as the uh, the milk. And I will go ahead and, um, let's see. Oh, apparently I was able to claim another reward. Um, I think it was under, I'm getting this all mixed up, aren't I? No, that was nine. Was it three? Come on. Which one was it? Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, Rune of Winter, I'll be able to uh, complete that one. And then I'll be able to uh, start on the next tier of runes. And then all of these are pretty much the, uh, the same. So if I take a look at Rune of Lust, these will require diamond and we're not to that point. Um, so maybe in the, uh, the next episode, uh, I will start working on the 
next tier of infusion stone and this is the strong infusion stone and that's going to unlock quite a bit for us but i do need to wrap it up i really hope that you enjoyed the episode if you could rate and comment down below it would be greatly appreciated and also if you like the series go ahead and hit that subscribe button but for now this is goodbye <laughs>